U.S. President Donald Trump is no stranger to making headlines around the world, and most recently it's been talks about tariffs on steel and aluminum. One famous Canadian who also is no stranger, former newspaper magnate Conrad Black. And Black thinks he has the answer to just how relations between our two countries can get better going forward. His methods are sometimes a bit table pounding, but there, he's certainly not the completely spontaneous, erratic character that his opponents present him as. If he was, he wouldn't be in this office. Normally not one to shy away from giving his full opinion on someone, good or bad, former newspaper chain owner Conrad Black had some growing praise for the President of the United States Tuesday, but it's not the first time he's given his endorsement to Trump. You were probably the most prominent and successful independent in American politics since Ross Perot and have a lot more of a future than he had after, uh, after he'd been at it a little while. That interview taped just days after the 2013 inauguration of Barack Obama, someone who had a legendary bromance with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau during their shared time in their respective offices. So what's changed? Black believes nothing really has changed except the coverage surrounding it. Trump is actually quite pro-Canadian, but it's not a huge subject of interest to him, so he could live without Canada and have to, but he has no real grievance against Canada. However, many Canadian politicians are concerned with the recent announcement of planned tariffs on both steel and aluminum, especially with Trump suggesting they're being put in place because of a, quote, bad deal as part of NAFTA. However, Black seems to think Trump only has one country in his crosshairs, and it's certainly not Canada. It is obvious that it's really China he's after. And for him to move at this point on that subject indicates he's feeling more confident about North Korea. He said in an interview with the New York Times several months ago that he had deferred the uh, hard bargaining he'd promised with China on uh, balance of payments matters because of the more urgent necessity of the North Korean military nuclear program. And for him to be moving now, uh, I think, indicates that he feels that that is at least in a track where there is progress and the Chinese have sent the North Koreans a message. Black was in Calgary as part of an event with the Canadian Global Affairs Institute. Michael Lumsden, City News.